Hey guys, what is going on? So I'm here with my 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee and uh, having a little bit of a shifting problem. Alright, so to get into this, first thing you want to do is take this little thing off. It's not this easy to take off, but I've already done it. Well, it was for the ease of this video, but uh, it's just this little clip. It's got notches on it that slide into the notches in the cable in there. And uh, so what I've heard is that if you push it in, it'll shorten the shifts. If you pull it out, it'll extend the shifts. So I'm going to push mine in just a little bit and see what happens so then you just slide this clip right back on and uh, shouldn't go anywhere so before it would hold shifts out until 3500 and then it would shift which was weird and kind of annoying interesting but um yeah so we're gonna see what it uh, shifts or shifts to now and uh, I'll show you guys that, and if it needs adjustment, I will uh, do that as well. And if there's any other corrections that I need to make, I will do that as um, as a, uh, a second half of this video. So let's go see what it shifts to, and then uh, we'll come back and see how it did. All right, I'm in Mexico, and uh, this is probably not going to be the best clip in the world, but here it goes. Okay, and here's just a quick first gear pull in Mexico. All right, so you guys saw it actually revved higher than 3,500. It went to about 4,600. And uh, I have this thing off again. I'm gonna push it in just the slightest bit more and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, I think that was probably too much. I think right out there maybe and the reason why you're going to want to do this is because these cables actually stretch over a certain amount of time you'll notice on emergency brakes it's got the same kind of cable and uh those will stretch and you'll have to pull it even higher and higher as you use it more but uh so we're gonna see how well this works and then we'll probably go from there so i'm gonna take off my uh my fancy jeep hood strut which all jeeps use anymore because these stop working but anyway I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you guys how that turns out all right so this is after second adjustment so let's see what happens By the way, I'm still in Mexico, so yeah. But actually, I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, you see it kind of, if you push the cable towards the throttle body, it actually makes it hold the shift longer, so that's a correction. Um, so if you pull it away, it'll make the shorts or the shifts a lot shorter. So like for instance, my cable was pulled out further, so it shifted at 35 instead of 40, you know? So if, if, you don't, if it doesn't make sense, just leave a comment and I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely try and, uh, help you guys with that as much as I can but um, yeah I think I'm happy with it it's it's a little bit better I don't want to go too much too all out on it just because you know what's the point it's uh it's not the strongest of vehicles I mean it's fast but it's not it's definitely nowhere near the Taurus 